Cosa ne pensa della democrazia esportata dalle grandi potenze? È una situazione molto complessa per noi, really. Ma let me see if I can just simplify it as possible as I possibly can. We've always believed in and we know the value of democracy. Long before, you know, we were colonized and even after we were colonized. However, the world is going through changes, etc. We've been through the pain of colonialism. And today we're going through colonialism, neo-colonialism, in the sense that what I'm trying to say is that uh, there was a time when we saw the white men, our colon colonial powers, as, uh, as our enemies. But I think, no, not that I think, something that is worse than an enemy is a traitor. Yes. And when our own, when we won our freedom, some of our countries were led by some of the most noble nationalists, you know, of our time. But at the same time, with the passage of time, some of them became treacherous and rather betrayed our aspirations. In, in effect, what I'm trying to say is that um, um, as bad as an enemy can be, I think something worse than an enemy is a traitor. We've, we've end, ended up evolving in the process of trying to modernize. We've ended up rather, ended up being westernized to the point where, as I sit here before you, when I wanted to even name my children African names, heroic names, I'm a Catholic. The Catholic Church, or some, that character, you know, back at home, said, no, I cannot. They'll have to be um, uh, Catholic names. I mean, those Catholic names are European names. I went through a, an argument with this priest, and I said, listen, I have a right to my identity. Don't take away my identity. Okay? I mean... Christianize me if you may, but don't westernize me. There were times, my wife and I is a great a, a graphic artist. We made some beautiful Christmas cards that depicted Christmas in an African setting. And the Christmas cards sold so well, even with Catholic nuns, white Catholic nuns. We wanted to secure the patent. I went to an office, the Registrar General's office, to secure the patent. Can you believe that this fellow African, you know, Registrar General, looking at my black personality, black face, told me that, no, I cannot. This was long after independence, and that it's going to take about three years. I said, why three years? He said, it'll have to go to England. It'll go to England. And it might take about three years before I'm granted the right to that patent or whatever it is that register. In other words, in effect, what I'm trying to say is that, oh, so I have no right to even my creativity. I create my own. You take it away from me and you have to send it to the colonial power. Three years later, when they have reproduced it, and I have no more right to it. So as an African, when you're talking about democracy, etc., let's put it aside. Let me bring you to the current modern situation since the collapse of the Eastern Bloc. And we have this unipolar world. The mistakes they're making, you know, by virtue of how they are approaching, especially, let's say, the Iraq and the Afghanistan situation, it is undermining international political morality. And what it's doing is that it's percolating downwards. So as it percolates downwards, every mistake you make downwards, by the time it gets to my country, the mistake is, is, is multiplied by five times. People in my part of the world are beginning to mimic 
and take the cue from the new global leaders. What does that mean? Let me give you one fine example. In America, you have Republicans, you have the Democrats. You have industries that are strong and independent enough to be able to vote or, or, or finance whoever they wish. So there's a certain element of independence. But you come to my country, the new, when you're talking about export, the new situation over the last few years is that those who are in power today in asserting, in asserting, taking the cue from the new global power, Bush's America, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, the unipolar world, they are destroying every opposition. Any business they think is associated with, uh, what you call it, with the opposition has to be destroyed. Containing some of, the, typically of my, my country, what is happening? National armed forces are being denationalized and they are trying to tribalize the army. My dear friend, do you know what you're doing? You are sowing the seed of instability. And yet, and yet, in spite of this, Ghana made a beautiful example in my time. And I'm not taking credit for it. Our people did it. All I did was to give our people a leadership of accountability. A leadership of integrity. And our people performed the miracle. And you listen to me. Whether you're from Alaska, I've said it again. A, a Greenland, wherever it is. So long as you give people a leadership of integrity, they will always perform the miracle. They'll give you the best. We did a fantastic job. My time was up. We lost to the opposition. The opposition has been committing the most atrocious crimes. I'm not saying this because I'm in opposition. I would have wished they had continued from where we left off. I would have saluted them and praised them. My country would be fly. But my country is involved in the most massive corruption, some of the brutal killings that have taken place, terrorizing, you know, recruiting people from their parties into the police, the military, etc. And yet, and yet, BBC, CNN, Sky, American, what you call it, media, the print media are all quiet because they want to portray the image the image of that uh, fine Ghana as, um, as a showcase for the rest of Africa so that they can use Ghana, who has done so well from my time into this time, and they are keeping quiet about this atrocious Im the image of this government because they do not want to undermine. They have enough problem in Afghanistan. They have enough problem in, in whatever it is. So they do not want to lose the situation in Africa in terms of the new world order. The unfortunate thing is that I don't care who you, in Italy, in France, in, in Britain, America bring into power in my country. But I would wish you would contain them enough from declining into massive corruption and brutality and tyran tyrannical tendencies. Because if you do not contain them, what happens is that they become so corrupt, they are now afraid of free and fair elections, and they refuse to leave power, and then we have volcanic eruptions.